There's an incredible rate of illiteracy in, in, in our public. These people have had no experience learning about the stock market. It's a tragedy. You purchase the stock, you do certain things, you will do better. If you're not ready to do those things, you, you should keep your money in the bank. Are you concerned about the volatility in the uh, financial markets today? Do you think something needs to be done? I, I, I love volatility. I, I think I remember when uh, 1972, uh, the market went down dramatically and Taco Bell went from 14 to one. They had no debt. They never had a, a restaurant close. I started buying at seven, but I, I kept on to it and it went to one. It was the largest position in Magellan in 1978 when it was bought out for, by $42 by Pepsi-Cola. I think it would have gone to 400 if they didn't buy it out. I think volatility is terrific. I think it is very, I think these callers are very important. I don't think the market going up 80 points one day and down 80 the next is a good thing for the public. I think that's not a very good thing. But I think all of these callers and all these other things to keep the volatility down each day is important. But the market's going to go up and down. Human nature hasn't changed a lot in 25,000 years. And some event will come out of left field and uh, the market will go down or the market will go up. Volatility will occur. And market will continue to have these ups and downs. I think that's a great opportunity if people can understand what they own. If they don't understand what they own, they can own mutual funds, try to figure out mutual funds they own and keep adding to it. Basic corporate profits have grown about 8% a year historically. So corporate profits double about every nine years. The stock market ought to double about every nine years. So I think the next market's about 3,800 today, 3,700. I'm pretty convinced the next 3,800 points will be up. It won't be down. The next 500 points, the next 600 points, I don't know which way they'll go. So the market ought to double in the next eight or nine years. It ought to double again in the eight or nine years after that. Because profits will go up 8% a year and, and, and stocks will fall. That's all there is to it. But you should study history, and history is the important thing you learn from. What you learn from history is the market goes down. It goes down a lot. The math is simple. There's been 93 years a century. This is easy to do. The market's had 50 declines of 10% or more. So 50 declines in 93 years. But once every two years, the market falls 10%. We call that a correction. That means that's a euphemism for losing a lot of money rapidly. So 50 declines in 93 years, about once every two years, the market falls 10%. Of those 50 declines, 15 have been 25% or more. That's known as a bear market. We've had 15 declines in 93 years. So every six years, the market's gonna have a 25% decline. That's all you need to know. You need to know the market's gonna go down sometime. If you're not ready for that, you shouldn't own stocks. And it's good when it happens. If you like a stock at 14 and it goes to six, that's great. You understand the company, you look at the balance sheet, and they're doing fine. You're hoping to get to 22 with it. 14 to 22 is terrific. Six to 22 is exceptional. So you take advantage of these declines. So they're going to happen. No one knows when they're going to happen. People tell you about it after the fact that they predicted it, but they predicted it 53 times. So you can take advantage of the volatility the market if you understand what you own. The stock market, I, I think of it more, if people study chess, this would be not a good game to study for the stock market. Because in chess, an outstanding player will beat a good player 1,000 times in a row. So everything's in front of you, all the moves are known, it's all technique. In poker or in bridge, there's a lot of uncertainties, there's a lot, a lot of things you don't know. You can play a hand exactly right and lose. You say, but I played it right, if I do it again over a night, over a month, I'll do it. That's the stock market. The stock market's much closer to poker than it is to uh, any other game. And uh, I think that's what's, what's the important thing to know. This is important whether you're investing for a four-year-old, a 14-year-old, or a 74-year-old. You have to say, what am I gonna do when the market goes down? Because I've had audiences like this, larger audiences, and I'll say, how many people in the room are short-term investors? I've never had anybody ever raise their hand. I mean, everybody in the world is a long-term investor until the market goes down. You no, know, but seriously, I think it's very important that people understand when they own a bond fund, that bonds can go up and down. Bonds are just about as volatile as stocks. And if they own a 30-year bond fund, that you can lose 25, 30% of your money very fast, even though they're government bonds. People have to understand this. There's an incredible rate of illiteracy in our public, and all they ever hear about is what happened today to Bristol Myers going up two or three dollars. What happened to Dow Jones? They don't get to learn anything about America. And people at some point in their career are presented, they're near retirement, they're given 450, 500 thousand dollars because it's an early retirement. They have no experience. They don't know what a bond is. They don't know what stocks are. They have to make a decision in 30 or 60 days where they have a big tax consequence. These people have had no experience learning about the stock market. It's a tragedy. So I think anything we can do to educate the public, if you can convince people, if they understand the volatility of the stock market, I'm not saying anybody should buy a stock. I'm just saying if you buy a, if you purchase a stock, you ought to do certain things. If you purchase a stock, you do certain things, you will do better. If you're not ready to do those things, you, you should keep your money in the bank. Keep your money in a money market fund. Some people aren't willing to do the homework. They don't have the stomach for it. They should stay out. They're not doing any, any good by taking half their life savings and putting in the stock market. They've, they've been lucky enough to save $50,000 or $60,000, send their kids to college, and one's going to start a year. And they're going to take all that money and put it on an equity mutual fund with a one-year horizon. That's doing no one any good. So I think the more, whether it's the banks that explain it, the brokers that explain it, if they understand them, they'll do better with it. 
So I would say if you want to buy a small growth fund or you want to buy a balanced fund that's part bonds and part stocks, you put so much money in, the more in every year, you'll be very pleased in 10, 20, 30 years. All right. If you enjoyed this content, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell to be notified of future videos just like this one. To continue learning about investing, watch this video right here.